Today I'm going to show you real quick how to use this serial port expander board. I bought it because I'm using this in a project I'm going to use. And it's from Atlantis Scientific. So I'll leave a link to this below. But I'm going to show you how to expand the capabilities of your microcontroller. So in this case I have the SCAMP3 board. And it has two of these RX and TX ports. But uh, I needed to have something with maybe three or four more ports. So I bought this board and I thought I'd show how it works. So it runs off 3.3 or 5 volts. And you can see a diagram of how it kind of works. So you can add, I think, up to eight or nine sensors. And in addition, you can buy an additional board and expand it to 16. So you can hook two of these together and have 16 uh, RX-TX ports. And you can just control it with one TX and RX line on your Arduino, or in this case, the SCAMP3 board. And you can see, you can hook it up to a Raspberry Pi, and it's just, um, you control whichever one you are, want to talk to by sending it some data. So it shows right here, you can send it a command and you can work with this sensor that's on P1. Um, today I have it set, I think on P2 and P6. So I'll be working with a sensor that are, that's on these two uh, ports right here. So to turn these on, all you do is send, um, you can send it a bunch of, one, uh, send it three ones, and this will select port eight. So if you sit, if you turn three pins high, you'll activate this port up here. And if you send it, you know, this data right here, you'll select that port. So I can show you real quick how this works. So let me, uh, set this real quick. I created a word called JSN. So if I want to work with the JSN distance sensor, I just type in this word and it will, it'll set these three pins high on the SCAMP3 board. You can see them. It's the yellow, green, and orange. If I set those high or if I set them low in a certain combination, uh, it will activate that port. So I'll show you these words in a minute, but I'll just do a quick demo. So if I want to work with the Nextian display, just type in Nextian, and we can control it. So I turned it black. Um, I can control, you know, the you know, what color it is by selecting numbers between zero and 255, I believe. I think black is probably easier to see. So you can see I can control it directly from the SCAMP3 board. I can talk to it. And if I want to switch over to the JSN board, I can, um, in the previous video, I showed how to work with this. All you need to do is send 55 to the distance sensor and it will um, send you some data back. So let me see if I can get this to work. There we go. So to receive that data, I can just interactively work with the sensor and just line by line, figure out how it works, how to program it, and so forth. So that's what I like about this board, is I can just quickly know how to program this stuff. Whereas if you do it in Arduino, and if you do it in other languages, it takes forever to debug and figure it out. But with uh, Flashforth, which is what this board runs off of, uh, it makes it really simple and easy. So here is the code that I'm working with. The first thing we want to do is we want to set our pins as output pins. 
And that's going to be the yellow, green, and orange wire that you see on the SCAMP3 board. It's at the top. And we can run these words to see which pins are active. So I can come up here, type in git active. Let me clear this out. So we got 001. So we can pull up our data sheet, 001. So we're going to activate this port, which is, I believe, port uh, either one or two, because it counts from zero. And let me see. So we got get active. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to select the JSN, which is we want to set pin one as high and clear out two and three, and that'll select the JSN. So if I type in JSN, uh, it's already selected. So next in, we can set pin one as high, set uh, pin two as low, and set pin three as high. So one, zero, one. So right here, we've got one, zero, one. So that's gonna be a binary five, and that'll open that port. So you can see that the blue LED switched over to the Nextian display. So whichever port you're using will get activated. And you can actually, I've got this set to where I can get a distance sensor, take a measurement, and then display it on the Nextian board. So let me see if I can get this running. Um, I'm just gonna type in update screen, and we should see something. Um, there you go. So we've got a distance measurement being displayed on the Nextian screen. I'm taking measurements with the JSN sensor, and then I'm taking that measurement and displaying it on the Nextian uh, screen. So this will take measurements every 100 milliseconds or so. And right now there's a bunch of wires in front of it. And this sensor has kind of a, a wide cone. So it's picking up stuff like the wires and stuff. But uh, you can see that it is actually taking a distance measurement and displaying it on the board. So how this works is I'm basically just running this word called ping switch a bunch of times. And I can actually stop this. And I can take a single measurement just by Type in ping switch, and you can see that it flashed. So it took a measurement, and then it switched back to the next DN, and it displayed the measurement. So I think in the next video or so, I'll show you how to how this how to program this display because the next DN display takes a few more words to get up and running. So I'll cover that in the next video. And one last thing is in this word update screen, you see that I had to run ping switch like uh, four times. And I'm not sure why I had to do this whenever I wrote this um, with just like one, uh, I could not get it to work. I spent several hours trying to figure this out. But uh, I tried to write it like this, and I just could not get the display to update. So I tried a bunch of things, um, but it just will not work unless you have, I believe, you know, four of these one after another. I think even if I were to delete this word, it still would not update the screen. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's something uh, I'm doing over here. I put a delay of 100 milliseconds before this. I put a delay of, you know, 2000 milliseconds just everywhere in the code. Could not get it to update until I uh, ran this at least, you know, four times. So 
Um, but anyways, I got this up and running, so uh, leave a comment, like, describe, subscribe, and thanks for watching.